it's Tiffany, also known as Shoe Connoisseur. I hope y'all are doing absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Let me take a moment to say welcome to my new subscribers and now my new play cousins. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you continue to enjoy my videos and a welcome back to my old faithful subscribers. I really appreciate your continuous support. Okay, I got a quick haul. It's uh, mainly nail polishes and I got a few jewelry pieces, but it's mainly nail polishes. And I want to blame Ms. 504 for Life. I'll put her name right here for this haul. I was minding my own business and there she is going to post a comment letting me know that Rite Aid had um, Revlon nail polishes on sale for 75% off. So the Revlon nail polishes I got for $1.24 I believe it was. Um, I got some nail polishes that aren't Revlon but um, again it's Ms. 504 for Life's um, fault. I hear that since the one's going to blame her too. This is um, called Temptress. And that is a nude um, pinky color. It looks lighter in the camera than it really is. I'm not sure if this will help. Maybe I'll snap um, a picture of it and um, insert it in the video. But yeah, it's a very, very pretty um, pink color. It's darker than what the camera's showing. That one's called Temptress. And then I got Frankly Scarlet. And I'm not really a fan of red, but I plan to do a red look for the holidays. Um, I really don't own that many reds at all. I think I may have one. I'm pushing it if I have two. I'm just not really a fan of red nail polish. But I thought that this was very pretty. This one's called Frankly Scarlet. Again, I got these for $1.24 at... Right aid and then this is called demure and this is a pinky peachy color and I don't have one like this um, again I'll take still pictures of them so you can see it better because it is more peachy than the camera is showing this one's called demure and this one's called amber ablaze and I thought that that was a pretty color it has a golden um, undertone to it I'm sorry, that's my phone. Yeah, very, very pretty amber ablaze. So those were all the Revlon um, polishes that I got. And then um, I got these, um, I had a few of these, um, Salon Select uh, Real Nail Polish Strips is what they call by Sally Henson. I have a few of these, but I thought with the holiday look, I can add this strip um, uh, to my ring finger as an accent finger with this nail polish. So yeah, and this is called um, Snow Bunny. They had quite a few red ones, but um, I chose the snowflake looking one. Yeah. And I also got this Sinful Colors color, and this one is in Winterberry, and it just looked like a purple color. Um, kind of sort of like a grayish purple color, but more purple than gray. Yeah, so um, I'll be doing uh, nail polish swatches for all of these colors um, soon. And this one's by Wet n Wild. And I do own a Wet n Wild nail polish, but not this particular one, Wet n Wild Fast Dry, it's called. I thought that was a pretty color. Got a little bit of glitters in it. I'm not normally a fan of glitters, but um, the glitters in this is not overpowering. So I'm going to give that a try. Oh, and that one's called... Blue wants to be a millionaire. That was what that one's called. Okay. Um, this is my first time buying a nail polish like this. Um, but this one is also by Wet n Wild Fast Dry. And um, this one's called Grey's Anatomy. And I thought it was a very pretty color. Not sure what I'm going to pair that up with. And even if I'm going to wear this on all of my nails. I may use this as an accent color on my ring finger. Not really sure. Okay, and here's another one, Sally Hansen's Nail Growth Miracle. And this is like a, a chocolatey color. That's pretty. Very pretty. I don't know what's going on with me in a chocolate nail polish, but this one's called Forbidden Fudge. And I thought that was a pretty chocolate color, different than the um, other two that I have. So I'm anxious to try this one. And I think this would look good with them. Um, gold accents or gold crackle polish as an accent finger on the accent finger, right? Possibly. <laughs> yeah. And um, 
Last but not least, I was in Walmart like 4 o'clock in the morning the other night and I was in the jewelry section. I was supposed to be getting milk and cereal and bread and so how I end up in the jewelry section, I don't know. But anyway, um, don't judge me. But they got some really cute, odd, trendy pieces in there and um, look at this. It's just almost ugly, isn't it? Oh, I love it. It's kind of sort of like brushed silver, dulled silver. Oh, I love it. I love its uniqueness. Um, yeah, kind of odd. Anxious to wear that. Actually, I could have worn it today. At Walmart. Walmart got some nice jewelry lately. Don't look too cheesy and too cheap. Okay, and here's another um, necklace that I'm really anxious to wear. Um, and it got little bling blings on it. I'm not sure if you can see the little, no, not my camera. Maybe I have to take a still picture of this too. But, um, oh, both sets came with earrings. Not sure how I feel about the earrings, but I really love the necklace. Um, of the two, this one's my absolute favorite. Probably because it got the little bling blings on it. <laughs> yeah. Very pretty. It's just a hodgepodge of metals thrown together, really. It's it's all over the place with these um, different metals. But um, I like it. I like it a lot. And the last piece is this bracelet. I thought that was pretty. Okay. You all have an absolute wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all in the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.